Bo-Katan had been tracking Maul's movements for several months. I was able to obtain some transmission codes from the Pikes on Obadiah, which helped her pinpoint some of his previous locations. What were you doing on Obadiah? That's a long story, and not really relevant right now. What is relevant? Is that we know Maul is on Mandalore in the city of Sandari. You're certain of this? He arrived two days ago. So why not take him yourself? Or to be more specific, what do you want from the Republic? I don't have the numbers needed for a siege. Without a complete lockdown of the city, Maul will escape again. That's why I'm proposing a joint operation. If we are successful, you'll have Maul, and I'll have Mandalore. If Republic forces aid you in your assault, it will break treaties that are a hundred years old. We will effectively be drawn into yet another war. What's one more? Well, we're not finished with our first one yet. I will advise the Jedi Council of this development. There's no time! Maul's influence on Mandalore is destroying my people. He murdered their ruler. My sister. I thought she meant something to you. She did. And still does. But I cannot allow my feelings to cloud my judgment. The Council will decide what our course of action will be. I told you this was a waste of time. So, that went well, all things considered. You two certainly haven't changed. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Come on, I have a surprise for you. salute me anymore. Not since I left the Order. It doesn't matter to them. It's a sign of respect. They know what you went through for them, day after day. Battle after battle. Loyalty means everything to the clones. <laughs> As soon as Rex and the guys knew you were back, they got to work. The paint job's a little crude, but we think it gets the idea across. Glad to have you back, Commander. Rex, thank you. But you don't have to call me Commander anymore. Sure thing, Commander. <laughs> 